Good morning one and all to daily devotions at Kramenkirk on Thursday the 3rd of September 2020. When Jesus saw the crowds he went up the mountains and after he sat down his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and he taught them. We're thinking about Jesus as storyteller this week. Let's come before God, let's pray together. Lord Jesus, may we know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly, this day and every day. Amen. Today it's a parable, it's really an allegory of the tenants in the vineyard from Mark's Gospel. That's our focus for this daily devotion. Everything is significant in this tale, for Israel is the vineyard, God is the owner, the religious leaders are the tenants, and the prophets are the emissaries. Finally, Jesus is the Son. It's good to know that in advance before we hear the parable, which presents a reason, indeed a justification, for the change from the Jewish faith towards the fledgling faith that was going to become Christianity. So let's turn to our Bibles. We're going to read from Mark chapter 12 and it's verse 1 to 12. Listen for God's word. Then Jesus spoke to them in parables. Once there was a man who planted a vineyard, put a fence round it, dug a hole for the wine press and built a watchtower. Then he let out the vineyards to tenants and left home on a journey. When the time came to gather the grapes, he sent a slave to the tenants to receive from them his share of the harvest. The tenants seized the slave, beat him and sent him back to the owner without a thing. Then the owner sent another slave. The tenants beat him and treated him shamefully. The owner sent another slave and they killed him. And they treated many others the same way, beating some and killing others. The owner decided that he would send his own dear son. Last of all, he sent the son to the tenants. I'm sure they will respect my son, he said. But those tenants said to one another, this is the owner's son. Come on, let's kill him and the property will be ours. So they seized the son and killed him and threw his body out of the vineyard. What then will the owner of the vineyard do? He will come back and kill those men and hand the vineyard over to other tenants, said Jesus. Surely you have heard this scripture, the stone which the builders rejected as worthless turned out to be the most important of all. This was done by the Lord. What a wonderful sight it is. The Jewish leaders tried to arrest Jesus because they knew he had told this parable against them. But they were afraid of the crowd, so they left him and went away. The real nub of the story is that ending, it's the rejection of God's son by the Jewish leaders. He is the rejected cornerstone. It's a good story and stories can bring about change. When you think about it, all transformation begins in our imaginations. The story was certainly heard by those Jewish leaders and they began to plot against Jesus. What does it say to you as you reflect on that story today? Let us come before God. Let us bring our prayers. Lord, as we listen to your word and this powerful parable, let us grow and mature in new ways. 
and as we join in prayer alongside Christian people the world over, let us be challenged, comforted and changed. Give to us strength when we are overstrained, guidance when we are perplexed, courage when we are afraid. Let us not be like those Jewish leaders who rejected God's messengers and ill-treated even God's Son. Walk beside us and teach us your ways. And as we ask forgiveness for ourselves when we fail you or our neighbours who are in need. We thank you today for our circle of friends and colleagues, for all the interests and activities that make life living. We pray for people in places of turmoil and conflict, all who experience unfairness, people trapped in difficult relationships, those who feel they simply don't fit in. We pray today for the continents of the world with their joys and with their problems. We remember the country India as it struggles to contain the virus. And we remember America as their election is causing violence and bitter division. Lord, hear these and all our prayers. We bring them in the strong name of Jesus, with whom we pray as we say together, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. And the blessing for today. Live in union with Christ. Be rooted in him, built in him as our cornerstone. Then grow in faith and let your hearts overflow with thankfulness. In the name of the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>